you take a long road trip, the small towns along the way can all start to look the same, but there's one Minnesota town that prompts a lot of double takes. Drivers have to hit the brakes in vining to make sure they're not just seeing things. That's where I found a giant watermelon, giraffe, and even an alien greeting visitors as I went finding Minnesota. The town of Vining in Ottertail County doesn't even have a hundred residents, but it has more than its share of characters. Every year it seems another two or three will pop up somewhere around town. Animals, people, even a giant cup of coffee along Highway 210. I think around this area, just this, this area, is like 24, 25 sculptures. They all come from one soft-spoken man. Ken Nyberg is a retired construction foreman who now spends a lot of time in his own shop. It's my getaway. I don't have to hang around the house all the time. He can take a welding torch and some old lawnmower blades and create a life-size elephant or a rhinoceros. That's the artist in him. But it's the Norwegian in him that won't let him accept many compliments. They'll tell me that they really enjoy this stuff, and I, I'm sure there are just as many people that don't care at all. In fact, people marvel at the creativity and ask about the deeper meaning behind some of these. They talk about all of them, and there really isn't any good answer to any of it. It's just a lot of nonsense. I think of a lot of things throughout the year, but it seems like whenever it comes time to start one is whatever seems good that day. If all of this seems a little out of this world, then maybe it runs in the Nyberg family. You see, one of his six kids is an astronaut. And now we do have the uh, Discovery crew. Ken's daughter, Karen Nyberg, has already been to the International Space Station once and is going back in a couple of years. It's different for darn sure. It's something you would have never dreamt of. You know, no way. Deep down, you assume Ken Nyberg is really proud of his family and his accomplishments. Different people just have different ways of expressing themselves. My retirement years have been the best ones of my life. And the fact that there's no schedule, I can just do as I please. Now, the biggest collection of Nyberg sculptures can be found in a park next to Bigfoot Gas and Grocery on the west end of town. But he's also created a few for surrounding communities like Byron, Parker's Prairie, and Fergus Falls. Now, we have a link set up to give you more information about these unique works of art. Just go to WCCO.com links.